These geniuses are something else completely. Number 10. William James Cetus William James Cetus was a man of many talents, most notably an author and a mathematician. Cetus focused on numerous subjects including cosmology, thermodynamics, anthropology, literature, and philology. Some of his ideas even concerned cosmological reversibility and social continuity. Born in 1898 to two prominent doctors, he showed his exceptional abilities from an early age. He could read the New York Times before he was two and apparently knew eight languages by the age of eight. At 11, William entered Harvard University to study mathematics, which made him at the time the youngest person to ever enroll at the prestigious university. Within the next few years, William's reputation as an extraordinary mathematician helped him become a Harvard University lecturer. Soon after, he quit that and his job at Rice University to avoid public scrutiny. This certainly was a man who suffered for his remarkable intelligence. This was also when he published most of his books, which of course skyrocketed him to fame. Though his exact IQ score is unknown, experts put that figure to be anywhere between 250 to 300, which would make him officially the smartest person to have ever lived. Sadly, the troubled genius passed away at the age of 46 due to a cerebral hemorrhage. Number 9. Kim Ung Yong. Kim Ung Yong is a South Korean civil engineer who's confirmed with an IQ of 210. Born in 1962, Ung Yong was only four months old when he started speaking fluently, and by the age of three, when most kids could barely comprehend one language, he could speak four. These were Japanese, German, English, and of course, Korean. It was also reported that Ung Yong started university courses at the age of three, and by his fourth birthday, he had penned a best-selling book of his essays. Kim later went to the United States to live up to his potential and ended up working for NASA for the better part of a decade. Apparently, he was not very happy with his job, so he quit that and moved back to South Korea, where he was required to formally complete schooling and university in order to get a job. He later stated, At that time, I led my life like a machine. I woke up, solved the daily assigned equation, ate, slept, and so forth. I really didn't know what I was doing, and I was lonely and had no friends. You know, it's not easy to work a hard NASA job and have virtually no social life at such a young age. Today, Kim has fulfilled his lifelong dream of becoming a professor. He is happily teaching at the Shin Han University. Number 8. Marie Curie Born in 1867, Marie Curie earned a PhD at a time when higher education was virtually unavailable to women, and she contributed extensively to the fields of physics and chemistry throughout her life. Perhaps best known for her groundbreaking work in radioactivity, which was instrumental in the development of x-rays in surgery, Curie was duly decorated. She is the first woman to win the Nobel Prize and the first person to win it twice. She also had a few other things going on in her life. In 1894, she met a French physicist named Pierre Curie, whom she married a year later. Together, they worked extremely hard on research in the new field of radioactivity and eventually discovered two elements that we know as polonium and radium. Unfortunately, Curie's close exposure to radioactive substances without protective materials led to her dying from extreme radiation poisoning in 1934 at the age of 66. Curie's end may have been tragic, but her research certainly paved the way for radiation therapy and atomic energy. Number 7. Leonardo da Vinci Although more celebrated as an artist, Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian polymath with fingers in pretty much every intellectual pie imaginable. He was a sculptor, an architect, a musician, an inventor, an anatomist, an engineer, a geometer, and of course, a painter. Considered by many as the greatest painter in history, Leonardo's most popular paintings include The Last Supper, The Mona Lisa, 
and the Vitruvian Man. He revolutionized the world of art forever. In his spare time, da Vinci would also design many inventions that anticipated modern technology, such as the tank, the modern-day helicopter, the use of solar power, plant studies, and even the calculator. One of the earliest descriptions of what is now called plate tectonics was also postulated by him all those years ago. Looking back at all of his tremendous accomplishments and visionary works, it's clear that da Vinci is probably the most diversely talented individual of all time. Number six, Marilyn Vos Savant. The average IQ score for an adult is between 90 and 110, but there are in fact a lot of people who have higher IQ levels than the average Joe. They may score in the 120s or even in the 130s, but the next entry on our list pushes the boundaries of intellect to a whole new level, making her practically a superhuman. Marilyn Vos Savant is a columnist and an author who held the Guinness World Record for the highest known IQ for five consecutive years, from 1985 to 1990. At that time, she earned an IQ score ranging from 160 to a staggering 228. As her celebrity heated up, Parade Magazine began publishing the popular Ask Marilyn column, which still runs today, where she has been answering readers' provided questions most of which are logic or math-based. In this column, she has tackled many unique problems, including the famous Monty Hall problem, which she solved in 1990, and the boy or girl paradox in 1991, and again in 1996. Marilyn Vos Savant is now an author with already more than 15 highly intellectual books to her name. Number five, Stephen Hawking. A discussion of geniuses would not be complete without mention of the most famous cosmologist in history, Stephen Hawking, an iconic physicist who achieved incredible feats despite his considerable physical limitations. Hawking contributed extensively to the fields of cosmology, general relativity, quantum mechanics, and quantum gravity, especially in the context of black holes. His best-known work is the theory that predicts that black holes do indeed emit radiation, nicknamed Hawking radiation, and are gradually evaporating. He discussed his mind-stretching concepts, including his development of the famous Big Bang Theory, in his revolutionary book, A Brief History of Time, which was written in a way to make the most obscure theories comprehensible to the general public. The book spent a record-breaking 237 weeks on the Times of London bestseller list and has now sold more than 10 million copies worldwide. The genius scientist passed away peacefully at his home in 2018 at the age of 76. Number 4. Isaac Newton revolutionary English physicist, astronomer, mathematician, and philosopher Sir Isaac Newton is perhaps the most influential scientist of all time. The man was connected to the universe. His wide range of discoveries, including his groundbreaking work on the laws of motion and the universal law of gravitation, form the basis for modern physics and engineering. Newton's Principia Mathematica in which he described these discoveries is generally considered to be the single most important scientific book ever written, because for the first time it set forth the definitive quantitative mathematical support for the Copernican system and more earthly phenomena could be explained this way too. His work made him immensely popular and he would also go on to be elected to parliament. After several years in the parliament, Newton suffered a nervous breakdown and was eventually excused from becoming a minister. It was around this time that Newton began to write more about theology and alchemy, which he wrote more about than math and science combined. Only recently made available to the public, these documents are now revealing that for Newton, religion and science were inseparable. Number 3. Aristotle Arguably the most influential philosopher ever, Aristotle is equally renowned as a scientist. In fact, he is considered one of the most influential scientists of all time, 
alongside greats such as Albert Einstein, Sir Isaac Newton, and Galileo. A man of many interests, Aristotle made significant contributions to the fields of geology, biology, physics, medicine, psychology, meteorology, and of course, Western philosophy. Moreover, he came up with the notion of empiricism, the idea that to understand the universe, you need to observe it rather than use innate ideas or traditions. This theory influenced scientific belief through the Renaissance and into the Age of Enlightenment, and has since become the basis of the modern scientific method. Hence, modern science and engineering owe him a huge debt of gratitude. Number two, Nikola Tesla, the internet's favorite engineer and inventor who held over 300 patents, Nikola Tesla is most famous for his groundbreaking work that led to the development of alternating current, a system of delivering electricity still used today. Born allegedly during a lightning storm on July 10, 1856 in modern-day Croatia, Nikola Tesla immigrated to the U.S. and started working under Thomas Edison in the early 1880s. However, the two geniuses' ideas did not quite match, and soon after, Tesla quit his engineering position to strike out on his own. In the war between himself and Edison about how electricity should be produced and distributed for the entire world, ultimately, it was Tesla's system of alternating current that proved to be the safest and most enduring. A brilliant yet enigmatic man, Tesla also helped us revolutionize our modern world with extensive contributions to the fields of robotics, theoretical physics, electromechanical engineering, ballistics, radio, X-ray technologies, radiography, nuclear physics, and computer science. Indeed, a genius who should have been more famous than history awarded him. Today, Tesla is commonly recognized as the most influential inventor and innovator in history and his name is the inspiration for Elon Musk's electric car company, Tesla Motors. And now for the number one genius. But first, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. It would be the smart thing to do. And post this in the comments. Have you ever taken an IQ test? What did you get? Do you even believe in IQ as a measure of intelligence? Some people claim it's a bad metric. Number one, Albert Einstein. With his whacked out hair and crumpled clothes, Albert Einstein may be the most lovable genius in history. But this rumpled genius is number one because of his phenomenal intellect and unprecedented accomplishments. The German-born theoretical physicist is perhaps most famous for his mass energy equivalence formula E equals mc squared which is generally reckoned to be the single most important scientific equation of all time. In basic terms, the equation tells us that energy and mass are the same things, and that they are related to each other by a constant, that is, the speed of light squared. It was this equation that gave birth to the quest for nuclear energy. His other discovery was the theory of relativity, which completely revolutionized the notion of the universe and shed light on the behavior of objects in space and time. In 1921, Einstein was finally awarded a Nobel Prize in physics for his discovery of the photoelectric effect, which led to what we now know as quantum theory. These incredible theories turned Einstein into a world-renowned celebrity, and it's all because of him that the modern world can dream higher and higher.